degree programmes have a, a set of labs that run throughout the first and second year and towards the end of those labs we have a, a system design exercise which brings all of those skills and all of that knowledge that they've learned together and it's a very intensive three-week exercise. They have one week to design a system, one week to build it and one week to test and evaluate and write it up. So the challenge this year was called uh, SPECIES and this acronym stood for a, sec a secure and portable electronic communication invention to ensure human survival. Now, that might sound a bit far-fetched but I guess the scenario is even more far-fetched and it was set 10-20 years in the future when mankind is waging a war against robots. And what was needed and the challenge really that the students had to solve was a secure method of communication that, that people could use. The teams had to come up with a device and if you like it was a secure encrypted walkie-talkie that could do things like uh, audio communication but also sending short messages and in some cases being able to do live real-time sketching uh, between two members. Try again? Yeah, can you hear me? Is that, is that what yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Right next yeah. to <laughs> Put your soldering irons down at the end of the construction. Okay, Rob and I will now come around and sign off any remaining parts on your design completion forms. Really what we're looking for in this exercise is the students to be able to, to demonstrate the, the knowledge and skills and expertise that they've gained over the, the preceding 18 months. Um, but we also want to see some creativity from them into how they solve the problem and how they interpret the problem that we give them. It's also a team working exercise and it's one of the first large group projects that, the, that our students have. Uh, so I've been working with Team Godzilla to help solve this species task. Uh, we've created the GX1000, which is a portable transmission receiving module. Uh, it's completely hands-free for transmission and receiving. Uh, it's got a nice throat microphone, which I think has come off. <laughs> Uh, and an in air piece. Uh, it can be configured to work on multiple channels, uh, sent to multiple devices. It works over a fairly short range at the minute, around sort of zero meters, um, but ideally could work at 300 meters. Um, the data is encrypted using quite a complex algorithm, um, which is good because you don't want the terminators stealing any of your information. Uh, you can also send text messages, uh, and obviously you don't have to be typing in this keypad like this, so it's easily removable and you can type in your messages. So at the end of the exercise we then hold a trade fair, and this trade fair lasts for an entire day, and in the morning all of the students present their uh, ideas or they pitch their products to a panel of judges for, for four or five minutes, including adverts on the product that they've, uh, that they've developed. In the afternoon we then get back into the lab and the teams um, get their hardware, get their products back out and get them working again and the judges go around and, and look at what every, every team has come up with. So they have an address. So this one's the price, this one's address zero. And this one's on the picture. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a bit like this morning a sales pitch but you've got a minute or two to show us what does and doesn't work. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. So I send you a message. Yeah, I'll send you a message. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Buzzed, and there's an ah <laughs> coming up on my screen, so I assume someone's in trouble. Right, would anyone like to listen? Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear us? Hi. <laughs> you can't talk back to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's password protected as well, which <laughs> means no terminators are going to get into Anything else? This would just off as well. I can stand on it. I can stand on it. You can stand on it. It's, it's very, very sturdy. I do it. It's out of 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 it. Oh God! Someone like to listen and hopefully. Hey, hey. Oh, Josh. <laughs> You're good. I'm very good, thank you. You can push the button and talk back as well. So, how are you? 
It's like you're in the room. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and the winner of the D4 Trade Fair 2015 is Team Doomsday. The winning team this year was Team Doomsday, and their solution to the exercise was uh, a wrist-mounted communication device that could, um, that could send both messages and also audio uh, communication. The reason that the judges picked this one out of all of the all of the designs was that they'd actually brought most of the various components of the design together into a working system during the time, um, and the, the quality of the system that they came up with um, was was excellent.